Measure of dispersion for ungrouped data. Here is a same mathematic form for solve problems involving measure of dispersion. Example 15. Self practice 8.2F, page 236 to 237. Example 15. The table below shows the information of the masses of two groups of pupils. All the people from group A and group B are combined. Determine the standard deviation of the mass of the combined group of pupils. We combine the mean first. The mean for group A is summation x per A. Mean A is 52. So 52 is summation x per n. n is 18. So summation x is 52 multiplied by 18. So summation x for group A is 936. Mean B is summation x per n. Mean B is 56. 56 is summation x per n. n is 12 for group B. So summation x for group B is 56 multiplied by 12 equals 672. The new mean is 936 plus 672 per 18 plus 12. So new means equals 53.6. Now we find the new variance. Variance A equals summation x squared per n minus mean A squared. Variance A is 2.5. 2.5 is summation x squared per the n for A. n for A is 18. minus mean a square mean for group a is 52 so 52 square summation x square is 2.5 plus 52 square multiplied by 18 equals 48717 variance p is summation x square per n minus mean b square variance b is 1.8 1.8 is summation x square per n for group b n for group b is 12 minus mean b square mean b is 56 so 56 square so summation x square is 1.8 plus 56 square multiplied by 12 equals 37653.6 new variance equals summation x square per n minus the new mean square so the new variance is 48717 plus 37653.6 per the n means the total number of pupils in group A and group B means 18 plus 12 minus new mean square 
so the new mean is 53.6 so 53.6 square so the new variant is 6.06 .06. we need to find the standard division so standard division is square root of the new variance so square root of 6.06 .06 is 2.462 self practice 8.2f number 1 the table below shows the scores obtained by 7 participants in a contest the scores are arranged in an ascending order Ascending order means from small to big. So the seven participants are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So the score for B is H and the score for player F is K. A. The intercortile range and the mean score obtained are 7 and 15 respectively. Calculate the values of H and K. The intercortile range is 7. Before we find intercortile range, we need to find the median. Median is 14. Why? Because median is the middle of the 7 data. 7 data, the middle is 14. Intercortile range is the third quartile minus the first quartile. So the first quartile is before the median there are three data. In the middle of the three data is H. So H is first quartile. After the median there are three data. In the middle of three data is K. So K is third quartile. Interquartile range is third quartile minus first quartile. Intercortile range is 7. 7 is 3rd quartile K minus 1st quartile H. So this is the first equation. We are given mean is 15. Mean is the average of score. Average score is total score per total participants. The total score per total participant 7. Mean is 15. So 15 is 76 plus H plus K per 7 So 15 times 7 is 76 plus H plus K This one equals 105 minus 76 plus H plus K From this equation, K equals 7 plus H so we substitute this equation into this equation. 105 minus 76 is 29 equals H plus A. K equals 7 plus H. Twenty-nine minus 7 is 22 equals H plus H equals 2H. So H is 11. Then we substitute h equals 11 into this equation. So k is 7 plus h. k is 7 plus 11. So k is 18. b. Calculate the standard division of the score obtained by the participants. Standard division is square root of variance and variance is we square all the scores and add all of them per total number of data there are 7 participants
minus mean square the mean is 15 15 square so the standard division is 4.276 Number 2 So the standard deviation is 4.276 Question number 2 A set of data contains 20 numbers The mean and the standard deviations of the numbers are 9 and 2 respectively A. Calculate the value of summation x and summation x squared We are given the mean is 9 mean is summation x per n the mean is 9 9 is summation x per n n is 20 so summation x is 9 times 20 equals 180 we are given standard divisions is 2 so standard divisions is square root of variance variance is summation x square per n minus mean square to remove the square root we square both sides standard division is 2 2 square equals summation x square per n n is 20 minus min square min is 9 min square 9 square so summation x square is 2 square 4 plus 9 square 81 multiplied by 20 so summation x square is 1700 b some numbers in the set of data are removed the sum of the number removed is 96 and the mean is 8 given the sum of the squares of the number removed are 800 Calculate the variance of the new set of data Variance The formula of variance is summation x square per n minus mean square And formulas for mean is summation x per n We are given the sum of number removed is 96 and the mean is 8 The formula for mean is summation x per n the mean of the data that are removed is 8. It equals the summation x is the sum of the number removed is 96. Per n. n is the total number of data. So n, the total number of data that are removed is 96 per 8 equals 12. It means that there are 12 data that are removed. 12 means 12 numbers are removed from the set of data. Variant is this formula. So the summation x squared from the above is 1700. minus the sum of the square of the numbers 800 this is the new summation x square this is the old summation x square this is the summation x square that are removed so the new summation x square is the old one minus the removed one 1700 minus 800 per n so the on is 20 
minus the numbers that are removed from the set of data 12 this is the new n so the new n is the old n minus the number that are removed from the set of data that is 20 minus 12 minus the new summation x so the new summation x is the old summation x 180 minus the summation x that are removed that is 96 this is the new summation x the new summation x is the old summation x minus the summation x that is removed 96 uh, the new n so the new variance is 2.25 If you have any questions, please leave your comments. Thank you very much.